William Ashton Hawkins was born April 1861 and grew up as a part of a wealthy family in Tennessee. As a young man, Hawkins obtained his law degree from Vanderbilt University and found both adventure and employment out west. Initially settling in El Paso, Hawkins knew that the completion of the El Paso Northeastern Railroad would provide opportunities for many communities. Hawkins could not find work in El Paso, so he looked up an old friend and moved to Silver City. For a short time, he joined the military, helping to quell some of the violent activities of the Apaches as a volunteer for Company B, 3rd Regiment. In 1885, William Hawkins was admitted to the New Mexico Bar and practiced law in Silver City, and soon he made associations which opened doors for his involvement into large-scale corporate activities. By 1888, Hawkins entertained a letter with a business proposition from Charles Eddy, who was in search of an attorney who had both legal ability and moral integrity. Charles and John Eddy were two enterprising brothers from New York, motivated by dreams of developing the West. Hawkins agreed, and by 1890, began working in El Paso to act as general counsel for all of the Eddy brothers' companies. William Ashton Hawkins became the attorney for Charles Eddy's El Paso and Northeastern Railway. The main line of the railroad came through La Luz, and with it came the regular appearance of the lawyer. As Eddy filed incorporation papers to establish the community of Alamogordo, Hawkins managed all of the legal issues that posed obstacles, and soon the Eddy brothers and William Ashton Hawkins had established the new town. Charles Eddy planned to develop the Tularosa Basin and the area that was to become Alamogordo. There were plans to run the railroad through the basin, log timber in the Sacramento Mountains, and run trains past the gold mines at White Oaks. With work in Otero County being so far away from Hawkins Law Office in El Paso, in 1919, he decided to purchase a home and property in the town site of La Luz, just north of Alamogordo. The house and property would become a summer home for his wife Clara and their seven children. Hawkins called the grand house La Claridad, meaning the clarity. Hawkins had a large bell cast in Mexico to hang above the main entrance of the house. Hawkins built La Claridad as a place to relax in the summers with his family. In 1920, he and his wife Clara retired there. Once the home was completed, Hawkins purchased additional property in and around the La Luz area. La Claridad included a sprawling home on the south side of La Luz and had amenities such as a large in-ground pool, a private courtyard, second-story balconies, several large fireplaces, fish ponds with fountains, lush blooming gardens, servants' quarters, and a barn and corrals. Clara Hawkins enjoyed her flowers and the sprawling gardens. Many social events were held there. During the summers, the pool was shared with friends and neighbors. The private enclosed courtyard was the perfect backdrop for neighborhood weddings. The main house at La Claridad was a large two-story adobe. William and Clara Hawkins raised seven children during their time in La Claridad in La Luz. Many of the lifelong residents in the area still share stories of the family that lived there. The Hawkins children grew up and remained in the Southwest, each creating their own success stories. On June 22, 1939, at the age of 78, William Ashton Hawkins was thrown from his horse. He was transported to a hospital in Albuquerque, where he died from his injuries two days later. Upon his death, he was accorded a plot in the National Cemetery in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Hawkins' beloved wife, Clara, tended the gardens at La Claridad in La Luz until her death in 1946, at the age of 79. Today, La Claridad still stands at the south end of La Luz. Its early grandeur is easy to imagine, 
even though time has taken a toll on the sprawling property. Still, the magnificent home, associated structures, and vast acreage remains to remind passers-by of the enterprising turn-of-the-century young lawyer, his family, and a spectacular career that he modestly and humbly recollected for those who asked him. A bronze bust of William Ashton Hawkins is proudly displayed along with his partners and fellow community founders John and Charles Eddy at Founders Park in downtown Alamogordo. The Hawkins property, La Claridad, is presently owned by the Quintus family and was accessed for this documentary with the permission of the owners.